Okay, I'm doing this video to show that I can get the verse recorder data or the Pokemon data out of the verse recorder data, which what I use to determine some of the stuff that I was using against Cans. And yeah, so some people want me to actually show that I can get the data out instead of just pulling shit out of my ass, what they think I'm doing. So first we're going to need this file that I made which contains the offsets for all the data that is relevant. As you can see there's blank stuff because I can never figure out what those values are for. But pretty much I did this a couple of months back trying to see if it was exactly possible to be able to rip Pokemon data out of the verse recorder and use it as an actual Pokemon and just put it in your box or something you know just see if it was possible because that's the kind of person I am I like to try to do things not you know just to see if it's possible so I got a lot of stuff mapped out but not a lot of it there's, as you can tell there's still a lot of blank stuff there, I don't have none of the met location data and all that stuff I can't figure out where that was at but as you can see a lot of the basic stuff is here so now we're going to open up the verse recorder here and we are going to play the video so now let's try to look up at Swampert so we're going to pause it while the Swampert's out we're going to open up a program that lets me view the RAM of the DS emulator so it's called this program right here that's hex if you don't know what that is that's the this is pretty much the information that's in the RAM, which controls stuff. It loads values in the RAM, such as Pokemon data. So now we're going to do some searches here to find uh, the Swampert. And I freaking hate when that does that, when I shake the window and everything minimizes. So we're going to look up his Swampert. Now on CRB it says Swampert is number 206. So I'm going to try to look up 206, because that is used for the species ID, which determines what actual Pokemon it is. So in the calculator, species ID of 260, well, yeah, 260, right? Yeah, 260 in the hex is 104. So we're going to go in here, we're going to type in 0000, zero, zero, zero because there's a double space after the PID because as you can see in my original data from zero, from data slot 0 to 3 is the Pokemon ID which is used for its nature and stuff then there's two blank spots which was always 0 followed by the national ID which determines what Pokemon it is then it followed by its held item ID is there, secret ID is there etc as you can see so we're going to search for the national ID because that is something we know for a fact. We can also search for his nickname, which would be Swampert in this case. It's not nickname, but it would probably be easier to search for the number. So, oh, 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 oh. And then we're going to search for uh, 0401 because it gets flipped. Because since there is O, it's actually 0104, it just cuts off the front O because it's the way it does that. And when you're doing it in hex hexadecimal bytes like this, you got to flip it around because it's it's just how it does it. If, you can read that up if you want, if you don't believe me. So it's going to be 0401. You're going to search for that as a word, and we get 36 hits. And let's see, when I was originally doing it, it was around this area, 22. It might be this one right here, 22d5. It was like it was in that two two area, like it was like two two C maybe. Let's see what we got here. This looks like potential Swampert because of that double F F right there. It looks like because he yeah, has it goes O one O one every other. That means it's part of a name, and I could probably type that in right now and get the name of it. But here we go. Let's click on it again real quick. Here is O O O four O one. Here is so these three right here, that is its PID from 4 to 8. So let's put this in the calculator real quick. We're going to type in C817. 
D6 F1 because we got to type it in from uh, right to left because it's flipped when you want it to look correct in the calculator. We're going to go to decimal and that is its PID. We're going to copy that. We're going to now open Pokasov and we're going to move it out of the way real quick and then open up Pokemon Edit. We're going to put that in here. And there we go, we're going to click Generate, and that is the stuff we get from that PID, Adamant Nature. What is the Swampert's Nature? It's Adamant Nature. So there we go, that's some stuff we got there. So now let's look at some of this other stuff. Let's look up his, uh, um, let's actually, let's look up its nickname, or his trainer ID, cause, or the trainer name, because I never looked up the trainer name of the Swampert yet. And so yeah, we're going to look up, that's at 48 the 57. So we're going to have to count that out here. Since this is 0, that's 10, 20, 30, 40. Then this is 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right here. 48, right here at that 37. So now we're going to go back to Pokasov here. We're going to open up Let's move it down here real quick. We're going to open up th the name. We're going to click on Trash Bytes and actually put the bytes we got here into the name box. So the first one was 37. 3701. Then it's 2B01. Uh, Go down to the next line. We got 4301. And we got a bunch of freaking Fs, which basically do nothing. As if I keep adding more Fs, it's not going to do anything. So the o the original trainer name of that Swampert is May, apparently. Wait, how many Fs? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yep, 9, 10. Okay, so that's obviously a hacked name because it's it cancels out. Once you have your name full... It rest of it's always zero, so that's obviously hacked right there. So what else can we get from this? We know that it, let's go back to what we had before. Let's actually save all of this information. So its PID was that, and it was Adamant Nature. Okay. So let's get the name, the actual name itself. So we're, we're let's get this thing out right here and its name was actually one before the 37 and it went all the way back to 32 so let's do this one backwards actually this would be fun right so where was that 37 <clears throat> 37 37 oh my god I'm blind okay here we go here's the 37 right there so that that the end of the trainer or the Pokemon name. So we're going to put zero 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 zero. And it's going to be double F, a double F, O one three E, O one three C, O one two. Oops, two F. 013E. Oops, I'm on the wrong line now. I gotta go up here. It's 0133A. 0137. 012B. 0141. And last but not least, 013D. And there we go, Swampert. That is exactly what's his name is, and that's what I'm getting from this data. So, there's some more stuff we got here. Now, let's actually look up its trainer ID. Its trainer ID is, uh, 